Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and today I finally have my hands on the Beyblade Burst Chozy Level Chip. These things were super hard to obtain, but I want to give a huge shout out to the Divine Portal Zero, an eBay seller who was selling them um, very, very cheaply. Um, not, not super cheap, but you know, better than whatever it was before, like 300 bucks or 150, whatever. But this was only $25 for one level chip. And in addition to that, uh, they also sent me the new Beyblade Burst Chozy guidebook, which includes all of the releases. So again, the Divine Portal Zero. Um, this is, oops, sorry. This is their business card here. And if you want to scan the QR code so you can follow them on Instagram and also on YouTube. Um, they update pretty frequently. They have some pretty cool photography uh, pictures on uh, their Instagram. So yeah, give them a follow, give them a subscribe. Uh, they're really cool people, very responsive, really good uh, eBay sellers. And I'll also link to their eBay store in the description below. All right, so let's get this open. By the way, this is like their signature packaging with their sticker. Nicely wrapped for you. Ooh. Nice. Look at that. Revive Phoenix. And we got the level chip right here. So let's start off with the level chip first. Alright, just put this aside. I'll go over this in a little bit. Put that right there. And yeah, finally, we got the level chip at an affordable price. It's only one, but still, one is all you'd really, really need. Maybe two. But yeah, let's take a look at what's inside. All right, that's it. And <laughs> wow, <laughs> this little thing, this little thing. <laughs> Everybody's excited for, oh my gosh. I do have some Beyblades over here that I'm gonna try it on. Wow. <laughs> it's like, it's like the size of a quarter. I swear, it's super tiny, but this thing will make all the difference in your Beyblade. It'll add so much more balance to your Beyblade. And I will be doing battles with this just to test it out and see how balanced it is. But here's, yeah, again, here's a closer look. So this goes inside the layer, and this part pops up on the top. So let me grab a Beyblade. Okay, so first I got Emperor Fornius here, and I think it's gonna look really cool on Emperor Fornius because of the yellow matching colors. So basically, you know, pretty self-explanatory here. And yeah, look at that. Ooh, got the yellow. It's not really on the eye, but it's like a gem on top of uh, the shark head. And you can see the two tabs that come on the layer, so it's all locked in. And I think you just kind of, huh, how do you push it out? <laughs> I'm not sure how you take it out. Oh, there it goes, <laughs> it just popped out. And uh, I also have Hazard Curbius. I think that's also gonna look good because of the yellow eyes on uh, Hazard Curbius. Yeah, look at that, nice. All right, so I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try these with uh, different Beyblades, uh, especially for uh, Emperor Fornius because Emperor Fornius is pretty unbalanced, and I'm hoping that the level chip will help it balance. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird holding this in my hand because it's like, it's like this was such a big deal, and it's just this tiny little piece of plastic. Man, but I'm glad that the Divine Portal is selling them. So again, check them out in the description below. All right, so I'll put this aside and I'll do battles at the end. And let's take a look at the new guidebook. And this is my first time looking at it. So um, yeah, <laughs> um, it's gonna go over the new releases and all that other stuff. So this guidebook comes with a level chip. And ooh, we also got some stickers here. Ooh, take a look at that. Nice. That looks like a, like a bay logger sheet where it says go shoot. Oh, and we got um, this cool Chozy sticker right there. Awesome. Ooh, purple stickers for Bloody Longinus. That would look really good 
on um, the recolor one. We got this uh, black version of Revive Phoenix, super dope. And here we have a little teaser, it's shadowed, but you still could kind of see it. It's uh, Yami Terios. It's like a dark version of Amaterios. Yeah, look at that. Super, super cool. All right, and this was like the original promo for Chozy, where the like it looks like the whole Beyblade was just dipped in metal. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so it looks like there's some type of event up here. Looks, these look like the prizes. You got gold, silver, and bronze with a blue level chip. And the evolution of winning Valkyrie, or Valkyrie in general, down there. Next page, we got the Achilles up, up top here. I don't read Japanese, so I'm just kind of going off by the pictures. And it looks like height differences for the Beyblades. And we got this big promo for Revive Phoenix. Um, more about Revive Phoenix, but we've all we all know what Revive Phoenix is all about. Again, the long winder for Revive Phoenix is a lot longer than all the other ones. Uh, more Revive Phoenix. Oh, and here are the different versions of Revive Phoenix right here. So we got this gold one, the silver wing one, and this black one, and the blue one. Wow, that's a lot. I don't know their exact name, so if you want to tell me in the description or in the comment section, go ahead. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of versions of them. So I think this is the one, the black version is the, the one that you could pull from the regular release. It was like a 1 in 72 chance, or maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's different. So there's like five or six different recolors of uh, Revive Phoenix, well, including the original color. All right, so we got a little guide about Z Achilles, uh, winning Valkyrie. Oh, here we got Emperor Fornius, Crash Ragnarok. These are kind of like their profiles, not really a promo. And we got um, a profile for Bloody Longinus. All right, Hell Salamander. Hell Salamander is another Beyblade I want to use the level chip on. I mean, it's already pretty balanced, but with that little level chip, it's going to be really good. Um, we got Archer Hercules. Archer Hercules by itself, just stock is also really good. Ooh, and Vice Leopard. So I haven't unboxed this yet, but I'll be getting it soon. It's just, um, uh, I'm just getting pretty late with releases late, uh, recently, but uh, Vice Leopard, it's got this really, really weird gimmick where it could bite on to the Beyblade. And we got Hazard Curbius, which I've unboxed already or opened up with the Random Layer Collection. And here's the rest of the Random Layer Collection there. Ooh, and here we have Buster Excalibur here on the right. Look at this. Oh, super cool. Um, there was already a video release about this, but it's, yeah, it's gonna be, it's, it looks pretty insane. Like, each upgrade from Excalibur, like, is always an improvement. We got Z Achilles, this is 12 reach yard. So this is best 15. Okay, so best 15 combos coming up next, I guess. Oh, and there it looks like someone put a level chip on that too. So uh, Z Achilles, 13 reach yard. And we got Bloody Longinus, 11 hit wedge. Z Achilles, 8 under yard. And Emperor Fornius, 3, is that Meteor? Meteor uh, bearing. Oh, this one is Crash Ragnarok. Is that 12 star Jolt? Really? Wow. I've never had any luck with Crash Ragnarok. People are saying it's pretty good for attack, but I don't know. Not <laughs> I'm not very good with it. All right, so winning Valkyrie, 11 bump yard. Actually, not that bad. Bloody Longinus, 8 reach 
just yard. A lot of yards. Revive Phoenix, zero reach. Uh, does that operate? Yeah. Alright. I probably won't read the rest, but yeah, go ahead and take a look at that. We got another Crash Ragnarok. A winning Valkyrie. So go ahead and pause if you want to take a look at all of the combos. Z Achilles. Twin Nemesis. Man, still going strong. <laughs> oh, and screw Trident. Really? Um, Archer Hercules. Hell Salamander. And we got, ooh, a Vice Leopard combo. So 11 star extend. Alright, ooh, look at that. So Beyblade is coming to the Switch. That's gonna be awesome. I don't think the Switch, uh, the Nintendo Switch is uh, like region locked or region coded. So I think we're gonna be able, here in the US, we're gonna be able to play it. Look at that. Super cool. Awesome. <laughs> It looks like the Beyblade Burst app, honestly. All right. Oh, look at that! Look, you could use the uh, the the controllers to simulate launching your Beyblade. That's super cool. And not sure what this is about. And it looks like a comic here. I probably I'll just flip through it real quick. I don't know. I don't understand Japanese so it looks like it's featuring Vice Leopard and um, Revive Phoenix look and the armor comes off and that's about it I think that's it and here we have a whole checklist all in black and white of all of the Beyblade parts and the sticker guide for the stickers that were up front and that's about it yeah so that's the whole uh, guidebook the recent guidebook all right so enough about that let's get to some Beyblade battles with the level chip all right you guys so before I put the level chip on I want to do a comparison between Emperor Fornia's zero bump bearing without the level chip and then do one after to see the uh, the balance of the Beyblade because this Emperor Fornia's is pretty unbalanced it kind of wobbles a little bit so I try to put parts on it that gives it more balance so this is without the level chip See how it's kind of like wobbling around a, a little bit? And then eventually it does, you know, center itself when it slows down. But I'm hoping to just keep it balanced throughout the whole battle. Alright, so it's slowing down. Let's put the level chip on. And see if there's any improvement. that looks so much better there was no wobbling around you know when it came to the center it's just completely balanced now that's that's awesome that is good news so I know that you know it's 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 working let's try that again oh that is that is that, that's really good results with that. Okay, so let's do some battles. Let's battle against Emperor Fornia's, Fornia's Zero Bump Bearing with all the other Beyblades I have that don't have level chips. So let's try out an attack type. We got winning Valkyrie 7 Vortex Extreme. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Winning Valkyrie was slowing down really, really fast, and uh, it was about, and I'm performing, so it was about one click away from bursting. Let's do one more. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Man, 
I'm for 40 is such a tank. Oh, all right. Only one click on Emperor Fornius, one click on winning Valkyrie. Let's do another combo. Let's do a left spinning Beyblade. This is Bloody Longinus 7. Wait, three, two, one, go. Oh, whoa. Wow, and Bloody Longness was one click away from bursting. No clicks on Emperor Fornius. That's super, super cool. Let's do one more with Bloody Longness. Three, two, one, go. And a win for Emperor Fornius. One click. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to Hell Salamander Zero Glaive Atomic. Three, two, one, go. And a softer launch for Hell Salamander. If I had two bearings, I would totally do like a mirror match, but I can't. <laughs> Ooh, Emperor Fornia still wins. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little. I want to do a mirror match between the two um, with Emperor Fornia still having the level chip. Uh, so I'm cheating a little bit and I put the Hasbro bearing on here. So don't do this. <laughs> At least not in a tournament. All right, soft launches for both. Hell Salamander still won. So could you imagine the um, level chip being on Hell Salamander? Hell Salamander is pretty balanced overall, but having this level chip will make it even more balanced. So let's try that out. So this will be my last test battle this video. Hell Salamander zero bump bearing with the level chip versus Revive Phoenix seven meteor friction. Let's do a moderate launch. And a win for Hell Salamander. No clicks. Let's do hard launches for this last round. And still a win for Hell Salamander. And I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. So that is it for my little review of the new level chip. You guys saw it. It really works with balancing your Beyblades, especially with Emperor Fornius. Also, thank you for viewing my little overview of the guidebook. Um, let me let me know what you guys think about the level chip. Comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst.
See you soon. Also, a quick reminder to give me your combo suggestions for Random Layer Collection Volume 9. Go back to that video and leave your combo suggestion in that video comment section.